Hello, my name is Sharon Guile and welcome to my kitchen. I am going to make an incredible dish which is part of this week's side dishes involving original Philly cream cheese and their amazing smoked salmon cream cheese. I have to begin with the potatoes which I have cut into about a one inch by one inch dice and I'm going to put those into salted boiling water for about four to five minutes. We want al dente. And as that gets going, I'm going to make uh, what I'm going to call a mock creme fraiche dressing, which is going to involve the creaminess of the Philly cheese with some sour cream and the lemon, which is going to add an amazing sour note to it, which brings out sort of like a just a tart, uh, creamy dressing, which is like a mock creme fraiche. I'm going to add here a cup of sour cream. And then some Philly cheese, which is half a cup. The Philly cheese I have brought to room temperature and sort of worked in a bit so that it will blend in nicely to make a nice creamy sauce. Now, to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And I've taken, just for a little extra pizzazz, some of the tops of the fennel. I've used using a, a fennel bulb in this recipe. And that just adds a little bit of pizzazz. And two tablespoons of chives. And to that, I'm going to add half a cup of dill. I love dill. Especially with potatoes and the cream cheese. It comes out beautifully. So that's going right into the dressing. And to that, I have six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now, I'm just going to work that in and get that all emulsified and creamy. I'm just going to check the timing on my potatoes. All right. All right, now we've got, as you can see, just <laughs> gorgeous, creamy dressing. And that's going to go into the potatoes while they're still warm after I've drained them. There we go. That's ready to go, except I have to add a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon. I'm going to work that in. Now at this point, it's very important that you check it for seasoning. So I'm going to take this. Very nice. It might taste a little bit more salty than you think, but think of it, it's going onto the potatoes, which I have two pounds of, Yukon Gold. So it's going to, um, you need a little bit of, a little bit extra saltiness in this dressing. Oops. There we go. You know, in Italy they say, when the chef oversalts a dish, it means he or she is in love. All right, here we go. Let's have a look at this. Okay, I think we need uh, yeah, a couple more minutes on that. So I'm gonna take some salmon. This is smoked salmon. Beautiful, thin, gorgeous pink. This is going to add the sexy to this salad. This is this Philadelphia smoked salmon. I'm going to take it and smear it on this beautiful smoked salmon. It's just going to double the flavor, add a lot more oomph to the dish. And in getting that ready, I'm going to take these pieces and just tear them in bite-sized pieces because when that goes into the potato salad, it's going to create little pink jewels. There we go. But packed full of flavor. You're doubling up the smoke flavor with the cream cheese flavor.
All right, that's almost ready to go. Just need a few more here. All right. I know it doesn't look like much sitting on here, but when you poke it into the potato salad, it just comes together beautifully. I'm just gonna wipe my hands. Now another part of this is I have fennel, the fennel bulb, one fennel bulb, and I've sliced it not too thin, but the reason I use it is because it's just more exciting than using celery. You want that, that licorice gorgeousness of the fennel coming into the dish, and it just takes it to, a, like again, a sexy sophistication, which is going to be amazing at your next barbecue, because summer is just around the corner, and this will blow anybody's mind away in a for a barbecue, it's going to be great with a burger. And I'll set that there and recheck my potatoes. Now the best way to check your potatoes is just to give them a little poke on the inside. And you're checking for al dente. And that's pretty much almost there. That's pretty good. So I'm going to take that off. Take both pots and I'm going to drain the potatoes. Now you want to drain them really well because you don't want the liquid from that going into your dressing and making it runny. So we're really going to drain that. That's it. Give it a little shake. Right? Okay, now I'm going to put that in a bowl. One more. While they're still warm, I want to add the dressing. A spoon. Because this is what is going to make the potatoes just suck up all this great juice. It's going to make them really lick up the dressing. And you can see here, the color look gorgeous. Now at this point, this dressing can be served warm, as is, which is beautiful, trust me, or cold. So I have created here for a beautiful display some watercress in the bowl. And you could use arugula if you wanted. But I like the watercress and it looks beautiful. So the potato salad goes in there. Now just look how gorgeous that is. Look at that. Then you take your salmon with the smoked salmon, Philadelphia cream cheese on the smoked salmon, and you just create beautiful little jewels. You can see the Philadelphia smoked salmon inside the salmon, and you poke it in, and it just becomes the most beautiful dish. I love this dish. And you could serve that for just a backyard barbecue or for special dinner guests coming over. It's just brilliant. And you poke all of those in. And look what you have there. So let me now present to you a potato salad inspired by original Philly cheese and their fantastic smoked salmon Philly cream cheese. You can see the fennel here. You've got the smoked salmon with the beautiful cream cheese. You've got the dill surrounded by the watercress. It's just beautiful. I'm just going to try a bite here. Oh. Mm. I have to say, Tutto molto bene. Everything is so good.